Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from salads, sandwiches, and chafing dish recipes of 1916, we're going to be revisiting the high school sandwich. You might remember that not too long ago I did the high school sandwich and I was a little flummoxed on what to plus it up with so I asked you for ideas and man did you deliver. Uh, I combed through them all, kind of aggregated them, and uh, came up with ones that I think are the top ones. I was going to do four but I'm going to do six. One of the plus ups that made it towards the top of the list that we're not going to do is tossing it in the trash. The other was remove the leaf of lettuce. Well, we can't. That's part of the original recipe. A plus up has to be applied after, but I can upgrade the lettuce a little bit. Use a little romaine instead of iceberg. How about that? And then we put on our sandwich goodness. All right, so for our first plus up, bacon, blueberry jam, more walnuts, smoked salmon, some goat cheese, and lastly, chicken. Okay, let's give this high school sandwich plus up with more walnuts a go. A little bit nicer ratio to it. Still tastes good. Okay, let's give this high school sandwich plus up with goat cheese a go. That is nice. Goat cheese is a little tangy itself. Cream cheese probably would have been good too. I was in a number of comments. I think that would go well here as well. All right, let's give this high school sandwich plus up with blueberry jam a go. Lemon and blueberries is a, is a classic combo. You've got the sweet tart of the lemon, and then you've also got the sweetness and fruitiness of the blueberry. It's really, really good. All right, let's give this high school sandwich plus up with smoked salmon a go. I'm not usually a big fan of having sweet with my smoked salmon, but this actually works pretty well because you got the tang of the lemon and you got that nice smoky salmon. Now let's give the high school sandwich plus up with chicken a go. That does work. Chicken's pretty neutral. Uh, it, I do like chicken, but it is pretty neutral. Plays well with the uh, nuts, plays well with the lemon. And last but not least, the high school sandwich plus up with bacon. And that's quite good. Sweet, lemony, tangy, going with the smoky, tasty bacon. And then you got the lettuce in there. That is, that is good. All right, so if you'll recall, the original high school sandwich got a five. So let's go through the plus ups. Plus up with more walnuts, probably about a five and a half, not a huge change. Plus up with the blueberry jam, I'm gonna give that a seven. I thought that was pretty good. Plus up with the goat cheese, I'll probably give that a six. Uh, it was good, but it wasn't great. Plus up with the smoked salmon was probably about a six. It was good, it was interesting. Not usually accustomed to having sweet with my smoked salmon, so yeah, six. Um, plus up with the chicken, also a six. Plus up with the bacon, that's like an eight, eight and a half. That is so good. This once again proves that bacon is a cheat code that can improve pretty much any sandwich you put it on. Anyway, it was a lot of fun. And yes, I realized that some of the plus ups had meat, which normally I don't add meat to a sandwich that doesn't have it because it steals focus, but the lemony tartness sweetness is pretty strong on the sandwich and I thought it could hold up to it and it did. Um, none of the meats that we added completely stole focus. Bacon came close, but you could still get that lemony tartness coming through in the nuts, so it was good. The other thing is the lettuce, the swap out, that did seem to improve things a little bit. It had a little bit more sturdiness to it, a little bit more lettuce flavor as opposed to the iceberg that I used before. So romaine lettuce, go figure. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna finish these little nibbles for lunch and I will see you tomorrow. Oh.